Have you checked the trash? I can't even check the- wait. Oh, I can check- I can check that! Look I mean, up. I wasn't being literal, but I was thinking if there's any place, uh, Sholmes would be, it's probably the trash. Yes. <laughs> well, it can be dangerous traveling abroad. I wanted a lucky charm. Where did How you did fit you... it? You were yeah. the luggage. No, 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 don't just gloss over this. Where did you fit it? You were the luggage. You didn't have luggage. You were the luggage. <laughs> I think Asogi packed light. <laughs> Clearly. I'm going, I, I'm going to study abroad for a year. What are you packing? Nothing. <laughs> Asogi's like, just give me money. I'll buy whatever I need from Ikea. It's fine. It's an Arhodo. A candle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Greatest Attorney. We are no, here. Welcome back to Shomes's butt. Yes, welcome back to Shomes's butt that is now exposed to all of us. Uh, it is immensely important that we all point out Shomes's butt. I can't get quite get his butt because there's the bag there. Uh, what is he doing over there? That's a good question. I'm posing for Taisha to add some kind of Spider Man shape on me again or something. <laughs> Mrs. Shomes. Aha, we meet again, my dear fellows. We met like five minutes ago! <laughs> Good gracious, when did you sneak in here? Herlock Shum, sir, at your service. No! Uh? I... 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 We only Try got... again! Yeah, we oh, only okay. got window! <laughs> Alright. Alright, whatever, Discord. Whatever are you doing over by the window? I am given to watching the evening skies, the sun sets, madam. It's raining. Or it looks it's like a... it's raining. It's probably snowing, more, more or less. It's London. There is no sun. <laughs> Yet sadly, cheerful as the room downstairs undoubtedly is, it lacks an aperture for such observation. So I took the liberty of borrowing a small corner of space by the window up there, up here. <laughs> well... Keeping an eye to one's window at dusk is the prudent thing to do in London. I'm gathering, excuse me. Oh, Is it? <laughs> I, and, a hint of sarcasm there. And one other thing, Mr. Narahodo. Oh, me? I thought... I thought perhaps you might be in need of a certain great detective's great mind. Wait, he's not talking about the gimmick of this game, is he? Are we perhaps to dance? <laughs> We're down in a space in here, but do you mean Mr. Sholmes? There is a mighty secret in this modest room. My eyes see even the most trivial of trifles. I mean, your eyes see something. I don't know if it's what they need to see, but whatever, man, go off. <laughs> I take it you're prepared, Mr. Narhoto. I... We are, in fact, prepared to correct your mistakes, yes. I think so. There is just time enough for one of my greatly admired great deductions. Let us conclude the matter before dark. Can we conclude it before the end of this video? The real question. Can we conclude anything without him messing it up? <laughs> Mr. Garadib, though it would seem you are a military man of considerable distinguished service, your standing as a landlord is certainly, is most certainly not what one might call first rate. Hmm? I'm afraid, sir, that is all too clear to me. Like, my god, where the hell was his bed? <laughs> I'm sitting behind, behind, behind the thing. He that explains nothing. The thing. There are two conclusions I have been able to draw by careful observation of your living arrangements. I beg your pardon? The first... is that even as we speak, you are concealing the presence of a ferocious beast in your care. Eh? 
and the second is that as a result of this beast's violent rampage, you may have lost something very dear to you. Uh, erm, uh... It's the Hono, look! The old man's broken out in a cold sweat. He's been doing that for a while, to be fair. Unbelievably, it seems Mr. Shun's conclusions are both spot on. How... how could you have possibly... How could I possibly know, you mean to inquire? The answer couldn't be simpler, sir. Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. For in the, des for in the dense jungle of logic and reasoning, I am the King of Beasts. Uh, and, I kn and I know only too well that wild beasts are not easily tamed. Where the hell's this analogy going? <laughs> so, shall we begin? Do you really want to know? <laughs> No, honestly, at this point, I just... <laughs> Once again, Herlock Sholmes is proud to present his logic and reasoning spectacular. Here we go again. Hit the lights. Is he going to put the cuffs on his hand while we're not looking again? <laughs> <laughs> Nature of the beast? Oh. It certainly shouldn't take a great detective to see. That a fearsome beast has been on a rampage of late within these four walls. Thus, we are faced with the question what form might this beast take? Ah, for a man with military breeding, your eyes are uncommonly candid. I. Your furtive glance, Mr. Garadim, leads us directly to the answer. Space alien knife guy. The true nature of the beast that has run rampant here is revealed by that lion statue. Yes, the statue did it. Yep, that, that's how it works. Yes, though an army man, you appear unimposing at best. A fact that has fueled your admiration for the mighty lion, the king of beasts. What is this pipe I ask you? In the end, your admiration became so great, in fact that you had a living, breathing specimen shipped from India, which you tried to keep in this very house. What? 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 <laughs> huh? Okay, if you said Africa is one thing, but India? Indians don't have lions? What? Last night check. Uh, I'm okay, let's be real. Do we want to fact check, fact check him on this when we have so uh -huh. much more to fact check him on? <laughs> I would just like to counter everything by saying, Capcom Universe. <laughs> oh, go to hell! Oh, nearly all wild lions live in sub-Saharan Africa, but one small population of Asiatic lions exists in India's Gur Forest. Oh! Alright then, okay, Sholmes. You got okay, a fine. point. This is the one thing he's gotten correct. You got one point. Yet living with such a wild beast proved more difficult than you had imagined. The chilling traces of a wild rampage are still very much in evidence. Eh. Yet as we look around, the beast in question fails to present itself. Where could this angry creature have disappeared to? Madam. M me I pray you do not consider me unchivalrous, but it is plain to me with one glance in your direction. It... it is? Your dress pocket gives gives us some handsome clue as to what the beast's current whereabouts. Or protruding from it is a handbill advertising a circus show. Uh... <laughs> how could you possibly know that? If you haven't looked at it, how? What? We don't know. We don't know what he was doing here before we got up to the floor. <laughs> Look, in this let's play, we've already established I have a stand. <laughs> it's true. Emissary from hell. Go web. 
yes, you sought to dispose of this terrifying lion, Mr. Garrett. At Batty's Circus. A traveling show currently sojourning in a nearby park. I have observed the tents. You sold the savage lion, sir, to the circus trope. I, I most certainly did not. I believe I have made my point. No, you haven't. I'm just so confused. The fearsome beast which ran amok in this room was an Indian lion. And a simple visit to the circus now will reveal the lion pran prancing jubi jubi jubilantly, jubilantly. Through a ring jubilantly. jubilantly through a ring of fire. How did he get a lion into the room? <laughs> How did the lion get out of the room? I like how he said, I have one deduction. Gives us two deductions. He said he had two! Oh, I thought he said he had one. Man, no. I don't know. I'm losing brain cells listening to all of this. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling my knowledge leave my head through my ears as we speak. <laughs> now you know what it feels like to voice this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> now, Mr. Garadib, it is plainly clear that you still have deep feelings for this formidable beast. Indeed, in that blithe pose, the distress this loss has caused you is veritab veritably tangible. Your head weighs heavy on your shoulders, the pain you feel being revealed by that supporting arm. Amid bits of tears, you let your beloved beast go. The strain of losing something so dear to you is clearly visible in your vas visage. Nonsense, man! I- I simply- But what we must now ask ourselves is the true cause of this pain. And we need only follow the direction of your gaze to find the answer. Yes, it is this pile of bills that has given rise to the pain you suffer. Every envelope contains another demand for payment. This has become too relatable. <laughs> for cartloads of meat, potatoes, wheat, and tea. Why did you need the goggles for that? Indeed, it allows, them, it allows them to see all the bills at one time without picking them up. What? Ne X-ray vision. Look, I need the extra. I need the extra help after reading all those books in the dark. <laughs> Dang, Indeed. you know what? He's got something there. Indeed, feeding your beloved has had a devastating impact on the financial circumstances of your household, and so you had no choice but to let it go. Yes. Well. Um. Now, in a final fit of rage, the ferocious beast carried out one last, unimaginable attack. <laughs> Discord? Discord, come on, man. Thanks, Discord, but very polite of you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the aftermatch of which can be clearly seen by observing the carpet over there. A very expensive woolen carpet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Fanny me! What could have caused such a destructive outburst? Uh. This time, madam, I'm afraid it is you who has inadvertently revealed the truth, the truth to me. Your wandering eye has settled upon the answer very neatly indeed. Yes, to explain the dire state of the carpet, we need only look at the power of kit. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll eat them. They look I delicious. Just, they I do just, my look brain yummy. stopped at reading that. <laughs> How? We are turning to mush. Our brains are turning to mush as he speaks. 
Like, I am in the single digits of brain cells right now. I, I mean, to be fair, I didn't actually know, like, what the secret would be. And while he has been wrong on some things, I'm starting to piece together items from what is actually the truth. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. Alright. There is no creature more dangerous on this earth than a beast with an unsatiated appetite. Was it, or was it not once said by a certain noblewoman? If they have no bread, let them eat cake? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Food is at the heart of all tragedy, in fact. Whatever do you mean? What do you mean? Having tired of the taste of cake, the beast began to stalk its next prey. What? Why would the lion eat cake? I think the lion would be dead. <laughs> I'm sure I need not spell out the nature of this final act of destruction carried out by the beast. There is only one logical conclusion. Logical, yeah, sure. Worked into a frenzy by hunger, the lion attacked and ate the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> what, a dog now? <laughs> The teeth marks in the carpet are a perfect match with those of a lion I once saw in India. Those are um, not teeth marks, but those okay. Are not teeth marks. <laughs> okay. Yes, the famous teeth marks that are leaving a burn mark. That that just I, I don't I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I, I Thus concludes Herlock Shum's great deduction of this beastly puzzle. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so you had some good <laughs> ideas, but uh... I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the matter with you, Joan? You're pouring scolding hot tea all over me. I can't, I can't be here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Like, okay, do this. I, my, I, <laughs> what I, brain, speak. <laughs> You can even be there's a window. You can jump I, out of it. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye. I we <laughs> Anyway, I'm back. Oh. I was waiting for the splash. I didn't hear a splash. <laughs> I sped run it. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is what this man has done to me. <laughs> I am making no sense. My brain is mush. There is a single brain cell fighting for oxygen. All right. Well, okay, we'll, Phoenix. well, we'll eventually. <laughs> Aren't you happy you didn't have to deal with a, a Herlock Sholmes in, in modern day? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Gadab. I'm afraid I didn't notice. I don't know which is worse, listening to Herlock Sholmes or voicing Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> I feel like if I was just voicing him, I could just ignore what he was saying, but like, <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, my my brain is... I'm you also, too, huh? Yes, like, I could have... I endured everything in case two, but this one... This one in particular... No worry, they get I, even I more I think we've all, received, we've all received psychic damage right now. Fine. What? Crazy is good. <laughs> uh, My okay, okay, okay. My deductions can be startlingly sharp. It stands to reason that your cup runneth, runneth over. Oh, shut the! F <laughs> <laughs> shut the yes. Oh. <laughs> shut the front door. Shut the front door. Indeed, my revelations can make people spill tears at times, too. Oh, well, I'm crying, but not for the reasons you think. Oh. Um, Mr. Sholmes, sorry to butt in again, but could I make an observation? Why, certainly, Mr. Narhoto. Was it? What is it? Again. Well, your deduction just now. Do you really think a lion could f have fit inside a room of this size? Indeed, it is the only explanation for the facts. The terrifying truth all too often lies beyond the realms of common sense. 
but wouldn't it be an idea to consider what lies inside the realms of common sense as well? That's what detectives are for. <laughs> the Scotland Yard ones, not not him. Oh, oh, I, I was about to say, uh, well, but if an encaged lion had run amok in this very room, surely Mr. Gillardab and his maid would have been hurt or worse. I mean, he is in a wheelchair. Is he in a wheelchair? I thought he was just in a chair. Yeah, Not I think he's in a chair. chair. Oh, I thought he was in a. All right, you know. Nah, what? he's just in a right. chair. I can't. I mean, I can't. he does have a hurt leg anyway, so. I don't know. I'm losing brain cells listening to this. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's where you are stuck. No doubt, the former military man held his own against the beast using that large cannon. I thought you said that they stole the lion to the circus. He can't even keep his own story straight! What about the food? Meats and potatoes are one thing. Also, if they use the cat, shouldn't there be even more destruction in the room? Uh, anyways, but I don't believe I have ever heard of a lion that drinks tea. Ah, uh, my dear Suzato, it occurs to me with some regularity. That irrespective of race and breeding, whenever anyone lands on Great British soil, don't say it. They are infused with. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I could, I could voice it. I could voice it. I swear. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They are infused with a highly appropriate taste for afternoon tea. All right, but I have, I have a real question here. All right, all right. What do, what do KV's dogs think about the lion? Oh, they're theory? gone now. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I really wanted to know what your dogs thought about this lion theory, I feel well, like. Well, my dogs have are... never been to the UK, so uh, they can't really give you an honest answer on that. Dang! <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can concur, though. A true gentleman would always want to have tea once they come into the nation of Great Britain. Okay, but my question Thank is, you, would would you count a lion as a true gentleman? Have you seen the Madagascar films? <laughs> is that is is that Capcom oh lore? My God. Yes. Remember, the penguins were in the previous game we played. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a glorious notion! But whatever Sean said, not not the penguins. Well then, Mr. Lahoro, it's your turn to shine again. I... Please fix this mess. I had a feeling that was coming. A slight massage. That's all Mr. Shum's addictions need. You can do it! I think we it's need... not all they need. I don't think it needs a slight, but sure. Excellent. I've been waiting for my trusty partner in deduction to step forward, Mr. Narhodo. A slight massage and a corrective surgery are two different things. <laughs> We don't even know yet whether or not this is going to help Mr. Natsume's case. Still, uncovering the truth is always worthwhile, whatever the motivation. Also, he's you just so, so immensely wrong. At least... Like, oh my god. That's what he's I so want to believe. He's just, he's just so wrong, please. He, he I just some, want him to he, be less he wrong. Ha he has some ideas as to what's going on. He just jumps to the very bizarre conclusions. I've never seen a man so confident in how wrong he is. It's so know. infuriating. Remember Red White? Y yeah. No, this is worse. This is worse. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Let us start again from the beginning. Of her luck shoes, logic and reasoning spectacular. Hidden emissary from hell. <laughs> oh god, I have to read this all again. Yeah. I just realized that. It's okay. We've built up. It's okay. Like we. Now it, it can't surprise us anymore. That's fair. That takes some of the sting away. It certainly shouldn't take a great detective to see that a fearsome beast has been on the rampage of late within these four walls. Thus, we are faced with the question, what form might this beast take? Ah, for a man with a military breeding, your eyes are uncommonly candid. I... Your furtive glance, Mr. Gardeb, leads us directly to the answer. 
The true nature of the beast that has run rampant here is revealed by that lion statue. I really didn't see the lion thing coming. No one did. <laughs> I did. I saw it coming. I haven't played this case yet, but I just thought... It, 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 it was beast, and I'm like, there's a lion statue. He's just going to block the lion yeah. statue. <laughs> no, but you if you observe this again, it has reaction. It rather seems as though some beast didn't did run amok in here in this room. Yes. I think the cake is when is when I lost it. Something... Like, the cake is when my brain turned to mush. <laughs> Something with a very fierce nature. But it couldn't have been a lion transported from India. Not with that attitude. <laughs> so what was well, it? We then? already tried that attitude and it didn't work. <laughs> we must follow Mr. Ganadev's gaze. That will lead us to the true answer. Okay, well, he was looking at the lion in the lion's direction, but probably this thing, actually. Oh, I was going to say the maid. What's this photograph? It appears to be for Mr. Gadab's wedding. He looks very happy, doesn't he? He does, but you can't make out his bride. No, how unfortunate. The thing must have struck the glass directly over the woman's face. I wonder what happened. Probably best not to delve too deeply there. No, uh, no, no, no. We, we uh... should dive deeper into that. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure this is the. Uh, I. What was? What is the point of this if you are not delving deeply? Do I? This one? That. Okay. I was like, what are they? Huh? He's looking at a picture of himself. Yes. The true nature of the beast that has run rampant here is revealed by the newlywed bride. Precisely, Mr. Norahodo. No other explanation could possibly fit. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, this frame print pictures your wife, Mr. Garrett. God, God, just... This is what I mean by, like, I've never meet, seen a man so confident in how wrong he is. <laughs> and then, like, it, it's like, actually, it's this. Yes, exactly what I was thinking, Mr. Narhoto. There's no other possible thing that I could have been thinking of. Only a fool! would think of the lion statue in front of well, Lewis, I hate to break it to you, this is a game and they want player interaction. <laughs> I would I'm still just, take this guy over real life. I'm just, just, just like, God, this is what I mean by this is worse than Red White. Not because he's a worse person than Red White, but because he has so much more confidence in how wrong he is than Red White. And while we lament the fact that her face is obscured... We can still make out her mighty arms and note the considerable horsepower they must contain. Uh, uh, what? Okay. She swole, man. Oh, um... Indeed. Surely any woman of such powerful constitution will be honored to be, be described as a... No, actually. Yo, no, 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 um, no, no, I, I don't. Yeah. Okay, honored hold on, hold on. might be stretching a point. Strong women are attractive. Go to hell. <laughs> Too late. The fact remains that the beast, which so clearly savaged this room, was your wife, Mr. Garadin. His wife is named Mr. Garadin? Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm bad with talking today, and this guy isn't helping. <laughs> The chilling traces of a wild rampage are still very much in evidence. Well. Yet as we look around, the beast in question fails to present itself. Where could this angry creature have disappeared to? Gee, I wonder! Madam? Me? I pray you do not consider me unchivalrous, but it is plain to me with one glance in your direction. It, it is. Your dress pocket. Your dress pocket gives us a handsome clue as to what the beast hurt. <laughs> if it's not a lion anymore, why would it be? Because <laughs> we have to fix it still. The poor fragile defenseless woman is beside herself. Well, I don't know about fragile. Oh, dear. <laughs> what is anyway, this? Mr. Shorms is quite right. There's no sign of Mrs. Garrett up anywhere. Are you sure? 
But it seems there may be a clue as to her whereabouts. A clue that this maid is trying to hide. I wonder where Mr. Garrow's wife could be. Uh, <sighs> also, Tysa, when you're casting, yeah, you let you let slip something, so I know a certain yeah, character's identity. Yeah, I know. Identity. It's fine, but like that's not even the big twist, so it's not even a big deal. Okay. okay. Anyway, uh, ugh, this thingy. She's wearing a very large ring. Look. Yes, a sunflower design with some rather nice embellishments. And it's on the ring finger of her left hand, which means it's surely a wedding ring. It looks like it's on there for life, too. I can't imagine it would f slide off a finger of that size. Yo, what the hell, man? Mr. Hodo, making... you're very rude to ladies. <laughs> y'all need to stop making fat jokes. I'm getting tired of all y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's something to think, Mr. Hodo, not to say. Thank you. Do you know Mr. Gerdev's wife from the photograph had a ring very much like this one? It was a large sunflower design as well. Really? You have a great memory for these. We just looked at the we picture. We literally just saw Mr. Hodo. <laughs> what the Aren't, yes? A aren't large you a lawyer? <laughs> On paper, yes. It's quite a coincidence. No. <laughs> It's quite a coincidence that they have the same ring, isn't it? No, I don't yeah. think it's a coincidence at all. I think it's literally just missing out. Hold on, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Your wedding ring gives us a handsome clue as to the beast's current whereabouts. Y'all, please. <laughs> Indeed it does. That flowery bang gleaming on your finger gives it away. <laughs> How would you like me trying to do one exclamation discard wouldn't pick it up? Or it is identical to the one shown on the hand of Mr. Garadip's bride in this photographic print. In other words, you are no ordinary household maid. No. You are Mr. Garadip's lucky bride. You are Mrs. Garadip herself. Uh? Whoa, how did none of that pick up Discord? You got to kidding none me. None of it, none of it did, dang. Wow. <laughs> not even a word I was expecting. <laughs> it just does not, okay. Uh <laughs> oh my, word! There, there it is. That, that, there we go. Well, jolly fine detecting, sir. Uh... As you rightly surmised, this is my wife. This is the wife, yes. My Joe. Rather let herself go, you might say, Get but she was a valley cock you, know, you deserve that, sorry. <laughs> you, you know deserve what, fair that. Fair enough. <laughs> you know fair enough, Joan, I, I will actually take that. You better. <laughs> it would appear that you don't live in the most comfortable of circumstances. That's his damn fault. After all, you are a retired military, you are a retired army man, yet you are in the business of renting out rooms. I would assume, therefore, you have insufficient means to employ a maid. Would that be correct? It's not right, I tell you. I was second lieutenant of the third regiment. A man has his pride, don't you know? By golly, it's a sorry thing when a chap can't even afford to have a single maid in his employ. Yes, here in London, one is rather judged. A household cannot be considered worthy of society if it employs no staff at all. This is... that's just harsh, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> Though in my considered opinion, such concerns about appearances are a folly. You... you mean Mr. Garadov has his wife work as his maid? Precisely. Am I right? Mr. Garadib. Only in company, obviously. But listen here. This must remain a secret. This is our fetish. Oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh! Um, I've got to stop the video there. 
<laughs> we're going to uh, continue with the second half of the deduction in the next video. I think we've, oh. lost, we've lost a You're little need... too much. We've lost too much brain cells during this whole no, sequence. That, that, was, that was the critical hit right there. I got to... I... <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you next video. <laughs>